The South Dakota State Jackrabbits just won the Division I FCS title in football. They finished 14-1 this past season and won every playoff game by more than 20 points. Since they dominated FCS football this past year, the NCAA couldn't refuse promoting them to the FBS level. Unfortunately for them, this won't be a seamless transition by any means. They can't recruit four-star prospects until after year four. They're also being placed in the Big 12 Conference, and they can't recruit any five-star recruits till they win the Big 12. This was a job for no ordinary men, so they went out and hired coach Christophilus Diamond, who's as confident as Ferris Bueller and believes he can win the Jack Jackrabbit's a national title. Not gonna lie to you, just looked up what a jackrabbit was, and it's terrifying. I'm guessing it can hear things on the moon. We're gonna need intimidation if we're gonna win any games with this yucky roster. Looks like that's worked so far. We'll take it. Three and two. That explains it. We only beat FCS teams. Both FBS schools bent us over. That's nice. Can't imagine this game goes any better. Playing the Longhorns, and we have six kids coming for the game. Our only hope is Coach Diamond blackmailed their coach. Doubt that happened, though. Got a third in Uganda here. We drop back, deliver, and it gets swatted. Terrific. It's gone downhill in a hurry. Really need some momentum going into half. We hit our tight end deep over the middle, and you can't be serious, too. We're just doing ourselves no favors. I mean, we hung around, but they kick up a field goal. The writing's on the wall. We lost. Gotta watch them put up the Longhorn. I knew the blackmail was a long shot. Anyone could have predicted that. Last in the Big 12, finishing 4-8 and eight year one. Yeah, we lost every Big 12 game, beating other FCS schools, so not a single FBS win. That's encouraging. Think that's 10 humans graduated in my math service, me, right? You all have the FCS national title. Just tell your kids it was FBS. They'll never know. Little influx of transfers, looks like. No one gets you too excited, but we'll gladly take them all in. Good God, Zelt. Ag Porag Nagni. He was named by aliens. I refuse to believe that's English. Him and Joshua must have been abducted by the aliens. They didn't sign anywhere. Only committed six kids to come on board. Not exactly good by any stretch of the imagination, but Jacora Wright and O'Shea Falcons are both good gets. Dead last in America for recruiting. At least we can't get any worse. Year two is around the corner. This roster is far from anything spectacular still. Not a clue who this kid is. He walked on for some reason. He's a 77 overall quarterback. Must be Tanner's lucky day. May DM Margot Robbie later today. Dari Halsey is the war not defense. He's our best player. Hopefully his goodness can rub off at everyone else. One and two. Shocking to absolutely no one. Texas in the Sooners smacked us. Then we beat FCS school week four. Got Oklahoma State at home and coach somehow convinced 10 kids to come up to campus for the game. Just gotta make it competitive. Gotta sell hope. Well, there certainly is some hope. Only down seven. Andrew drives back and sits. Then throws. Yeah, that's that open at all. Stupidity at its finest. Great job, Tanner. Must have brought out a jackrabbit at halftime. No cool over tie, but I don't care. We give it to the Thiel. He glides into the end zone for a touchdown. We can credit our mascot for this. That halftime flipped the script. They hand it off on fourth down. Just negative if IQ move there. We tackle him to secure the win. The team celebrates our first Big 12 win. Coach Simon is a pet ostrich. He's gonna invite the players to come over. Doubt anyone takes him up on the offer, though. That shocking upset commits 11 kids to jump on board. Nice small colony for us already. Love it. Yeah, back to reality. We still suck. Two and six. I've lost four in a row since the upset went over Oklahoma State. Can't really be surprised. Gosh, our rushing offense is putrid. Playing Baylor on the road. Have a hard time imagining this will go well. Moving the ball down the field pretty well. Andrew's confidence is growing. He sits back in the pocket and courses a Luke Wise song. Wait too much separation. That'll be a touchdown, Jackrabbits. Fourth quarter now, and I can't explain it. We have a shot to win the game here. Andrew stays patient, throws a real to Bobby Wood for a touchdown. We got nothing to lose. We're going for it here. Andrew sees an open man. He hits him on the left side. It's Bobby again. Let's go. Couldn't tell you how he pulled it off, but that doesn't matter. Big thanks to Andrew. Kid was born in the dark. He has no fear. Five and seven. Just one game off bull eligibility, so that's depressing. Ended up being FCS Midwest and Navy, but lost to Yuck. No, no, no. Not like that. Two and ten TCU, man. Ugh. Bam Talele is transferring not happy about that. Sucks to lose a kid named Bam. He's going to North Dakota State. That's awesome. Not too many kids graduating though, so hopefully we don't suck so much. Looks like we made a trade with our rival, picking up Elijah Johnson now after Bam left us for them. Still wish we kept Bam instead though. Big strides this recruiting cycle for Coach Christophilus. He had much more success on the trail. Rolling in studs like Anthony Bird, JT Hill, and Ethan Booth. 73rd class in the nation this time. Coach built a cold stone on campus. It's been a big hit for the recruits. Slowly but surely, the team is improving. We just have to trust the process. JT Hill is going to get redshirted. Coach feels bad for Andrew. If JT transfers, I will lose all hope in life. Bobby Wooden is back for us at receiver, as well as Luke Weissung and Herbert Fortenberry. What a name. I wish Tanner's last name was a fruit. Two and three below 500. Some things never change. Only beating FCS school and Boston College. Some of lost to Akron. The Kangaroo is not a fan of that at all. Now we welcome in the Red Raiders to town. Really want to win here. Please don't suck. Only down four in the fourth quarter. Really hope they shank this kick here. They kick it up. Oh, baby, we got a shot. Let's go off the crossbar. That's happiness. Worked our way down to the one yard line. Come on, man. We hand off to Nathaniel Jones, who easily runs into the end zone secure the dub. Much needed win. Let's use this momentum to catapult us into a solid year. Well, let down once again. We suck. Four and eight, lost four in our last five. Only win was against Oklahoma State, so yeah, lots of losing. Lots of kids moving on. Can't say you'll be missed. We've been awful the last three seasons. Doesn't mean you all can't do great things in life, though. We need another Albert Einstein in the world. Why don't you step up and make it happen? Looks like Carter's gonna go overseas and play professional cricket. Best of luck, kid. But all in all, another really good and much needed haul. The roster still has plenty of kinks in the armor. But kids like Kelvin Walker and Galen Alexander can definitely bring in some much needed 
need it being good at footballness. 71st, it's time for Coach Christophilus. He's been sleeping in his office, scouting three star underrated kids. Hopefully, it starts to pay off for the gay. Team is a little bit improved, still not great at all. Gonna need a major miracle to make a bowl game. Super happy JT didn't transfer. Think it helped that Coach gave him a lifetime pass to a ski resort. Should probably keep that on the down low, though. He's got a big man stepping in the ball every play. Jakar Wright has turned himself into quite the center at just a sophomore. Three and one. All right, let's go. Maybe we won't be so bad this year. Finally have some hope. Lost to Charlotte in overtime, then went on to win three in a row. Really no impressive wins. Hopefully that'll change. After our bye week, we welcome in the Jayhawks to Brucking, South Dakota. Let's keep it rolling, boys. Move down to the goal line in a hurry. Awesome to see. We keep it with JT. He runs into the end zone and gets off to a great start. This is good. The defense is defending like Trojan. We give it to the bird, man. He cuts it out of the open field. Has enough speed to get in the end zone. I wish I was fast like that. Time to kiss this baby goodbye. JT keeps it. They're confused. They don't know what's going on. Touchdown, Jackrabbits. Of course, a big shout out to the stud at quarterback JT. He can run and pass. Dual threat. So magical. As the team runs off with joy, Coach Diamond has a snowball fight tonight at the ski resort. Hopefully, some of the kids stop by. Well, guess that wasn't such a good idea. We're four and five, which I think means we lost every single game. Yep, every single one. Terrific. Well, time for some happiness. Got six kids committed. No clue how Coach found these three star gems, but I will not complain. Need them on campus ASAP as possible. Really blew our shot at beating some of the crappier Big 12 teams, so hopefully, you can pull this off. With some kids visiting, if we do get blasted, we have the cold stone as fallback. So far, some murky waters to work through. Down seven. JT stays patient in the pocket. Rumbles to Anthony, a bird boy. That's a touchdown. That was cool. We're hanging around only down three. Would love a stop here. And yeah, that's not going to happen, man. Shoot. Gosh, man, this isn't good. Someone step up here and make a play. We need some life. Their quarterback drops back in the pocket. And yeah, that's wide open. He's going to score a touchdown, isn't he? Yep, yep. Sadness. Just agony and pain. At least we have the cold stone. Imagine that. Just short again. Tanner's life story. Beat Western Kentucky, then lost to Texas. Just one day we won't suck and it'll be glorious. The experts seem to agree. It looks like we'll be a top 20 ish team soon. Just got to trust Coach Christophilus. Galen is leaving us. That's pain. He was going to be very good here. Cue up the story of my life. One direction could cure the pain. Adari Hall sees our first NFL draft pick. Best of luck in the NFL, lad. Another year of a lot of graduates. Gonna miss Herbert the most, though. Such an awesome name. Everyone else, do some good in life. One of you should open a Domino's next to the Cold Stone. That would be nice. Zach Attack decided not to sign. Mistake, young grasshopper. Another really solid class for coach. A lot more high end kids joining the Jackrabbits. Curtis Bradley King and Parker McGear were both really great finds. 89th in America. They're sleeping on our class. Coach knows we found some three star studs. We're happy about the haul. Really hoping for a break through year for us this season. Need it, guys. I'm tired of sucking. JT's back starting for us. He was a homeschooled kid, but he never did any schoolwork. Only football. His mom took a state test for him. We're also going to register Andrew if he wants to transfer. Coach Diamond doesn't like burn bridges. On defense, we got a very good defensive end duo with David Rawai and Ethan Booth, who's from Canada. We should be able to get plenty of pressure on the quarterback. Finally, success for once. Wait, I just realized something. What noise does a jackrabbit even make? And how does every one of them feel being called the same name? So many questions I want to ask the universe. Started off hot with four wins in a row, then got clobbered at Oklahoma. Oklahoma State, then bounce back and beat the Cyclones. Got to travel on the road to play the Cats with a newfound cabinets. Time before half, got a shot to get a lead. JT dropping back and finds an open man who drops it in. All right, dude, that's great. This has been a battle. Tied up. Need to stop here in this third down. We send the blitz. Their quarterback gets scared and throws it to the right. We pick it up. Let's go. All right, no pressure. Eyes kicked here. Just nail this. A coach will get you out of your classes for a week. He kicks it up. Oh, yeah, that's in. Let's go. The players are celebrating on their home turf. Been missing this winning stuff, man. Cannot complain. Nine and three. Big jump for us. Can finally go to a bowl game. With three and two, the the final five games. He somehow lost to Florida Atlantic the final game of the season. It's almost as confusing as how cane sauce tastes good, but I think it has mayonnaise in it. The world's a confusing place. Queso Bowl against UCLA. This should be interesting. Not the best start, especially in offense down 10. JT is hurt. Not a good situation. We give it to Anthony. who could easily run to the end zone for a touchdown. We got a lead finally, but they're at the goal line. We need to hang her down here, man. Someone make a play. They hand it off. Yeah, just no resistance. That's disheartening. Gotta have it here. Fourth and 12. Her backup delivers deep over the middle and yeah, intercepted that and go to plan. Got the bear having a blast in the crowd. Wish that was our jackrabbit, man. Another transfer. It's like one every offseason at this point. Some guys moving on as well. Thank you all for your contributions. Go be good Samaritans. Had the ability to go up to four stars to cycle and Coach Christophilus dabbled into it. Still stayed true to our roots and found some three-star gems like Cameron Osborne. Then a four-star Juco, Kadarian Blackson. Both great pickups. Top 20 class. Let's go. Coach found that he had a twin brother, Theodore, and he's a Michelin chef. Whenever he recruited a kid, he just called up Theodore to cook and it was smooth sailing from there. Another roster to be proud about. Don't think we're quite at the elite national level yet, but gotta be a seven before you're a 10, at least I think. JT is our guiding light. Wherever he goes, we fall. He's our Sacagawea. At running back, we got the Birdman back along with Kenny Ato, both big, strong, manly men. 4-1, great start of the season. Good to see. We won four games in a row. Beat North Dakota State in there. That's beautiful, but lost to Texas Tech, so that's misery. After our second bye week, we stay home to play the Cowboys. Got five kids coming for the game. Got their cold stove, Domino's, and Theodore. We're set. Trailing down three. We're still confident with JT at the helm. He sits patiently, lobs up a sexy pass to an open receiver right in the bread basket. Touchdown, Jackrabbit. Well, a miss here could go a long way down three. No chance this kid can make it. We're feeling confident. Yeah, he is a leg on 
I'm just gonna go through, isn't it, man? Dang it. Need to somehow get seven here. JT runs out of the pocket to his left and throws deep. Uh-oh. Isn't looking good yet. Yeah. Figured that would happen. We lost. Walking off in defeat. Really felt like we had that one. Just didn't happen. Thank goodness for the upgrades we made to the campus. Seven kids committed after the loss. Will not hear Tam Man complain one bit. Goodness gracious. What happened, guys? Five and six. My eyes do not like what they're seeing right now. So we've lost six out of our last seven games. That's great. Well, at least Taylor Swift won't stop making music anytime soon. Got the number one ranked Sooners coming into town. Please somehow win. Really need to get an early lead here. Let them know we won't float over like a lawn chair. We hand it off to the birdie. He can run to the end zone and do just that. Haven't scored an offense since then, so that's great. Really need to stop here, boys. They hand it off and the running back just won't be denied. He just wants it more, man. It's a long shot, but it all starts with an onside recovery. Yeah, so much for that pipe dream. Needed this one to make a bowl game. I have no sweet clue what happened this year. Tanner is a dejected bumblebee. Wouldn't be an offseason without a transfer. Adios, amigo. The Canadian is gonna draft it. Good for you, Ethan. Really not too many other kids leaving. Really shocked Jakar didn't get drafted, but yeah, I don't know. Still in shock how he sucks so much again. Typical class for Coach Christophilus. Found plenty of gems, sprinkled in with some four-star kiddos. Brad Mischer was a great pickup, but so was Luke Boris. 6'4", 228, linebacker. A terrifying sight. 25th class. Picked up two more four-stars to cycle. Coach is getting the feeling last year was a minor setback for a major comeback. Finally, a roster coach can wake up to every morning and be proud of. We'll probably still somehow suck, though. It's JT's senior season. We need to cherish him. Lead us to the promised land, JT. Your only hope. It's also the Bird Boy senior season as well. Heard the senior class lock themselves in the facility this offseason. They don't want a repeat of last year's disappointment. Someone who isn't a senior, but is still very good at football. Brandon Bowman, All-American, 242 pounds as a receiver. That's, uh, confuzzling. It's gotta be too good to be true. I feel like I'm being pranked. Wow, not a single close game. Why can't we do this every season with really lower Coach Diamond stress? He already gets nightmares from the Smile movie. Here we go. Six kids in the class already. They're all good at the game of football. Really happy with the start there. Now we're heading on the road playing Texas. Need to win this one, fans. 0-0. Zero, zero, still just the first quarter. JT's confident. He gets out of the pocket and launches deep downfield. Always got him in stride. It's Brandon Bowman. He doesn't look 242 pounds. Man, he's a fast cougar. Love it, defense. This is what we need. JT will take care of the offense. He runs out of the pocket to his right and dumps it underneath to Mr. Hobbs and he's got enough determination. He'll get into the end zone for a touchdown. This is good. This is good. Got a nice comfy lead. Touchdown here and we can partay at Coldstone tonight. JT's a genius making Stephen Hawking proud, keeping the option and gliding into the end zone. Didn't think we had that in us. I don't really know what's happening, but who cares? We're winning. A big thanks goes to JT. His dad loves to go to the beach and watch seashells swim. He must be so proud. This is mint chocolate chip ice cream. Two of the most beautiful sights a person can lay their eyes on. Love this. I mean, we bludgeon the Pirates and Mountaineers over the big win. We're just dominant. Now for the final regular season game. We're bringing the Froggies to town. Time to flex our muscles. Yeah, success. Up 14. We're kicking up a field goal to make it a three-possession game at the half. Up 10. Just recover the outside here, gang. Don't do anything Tanner would do. They kick it and the ball bounces very chart. Retreat, retreat. Get away. Good job, everyone. Just for fun, we hand it off to the bird. He's got some wiggle in open field. He cuts it back, then cuts out. And he's in the clear. Fly, birdie, fly. Oh, it's majestic. That'll be another touchdown. Team runs off the field in celebration. Go to Mount Rushmore tonight. They want to see Barack Obama. Of course, he wins the Heisman. Hide your girlfriends and hide your mommies. What can't this kid do besides swim? Ooh, the Seminoles in the first round. Intense. Let's win. Love this. Down in the red zone, JT is patrolling the offense. He sits and dances around the pocket beautifully. Then hits Mr. Hobson in the end zone for a touchdown. A to draw first blood. They're not going away. Tied up. JT is calm and collected. He delivers a beautiful strike to an over receiver. Gets into the end zone to get us our lead back. All right, man. Need the defense to clamp down this drive. They drop back. It's a screen. We read it beautifully and we pick it off. That's greatly. Big, fast man with cool pads. I like those. He's going to secure us a deli. Get us a touchdown. Great win. Coach Christophilus gets to hoist out the goal in football. Figure that would happen. Alabama looks very scary, but we have the Heisman Trophy winner. No need to fear. First and goal. Gotta capitalize here. JT fakes the give. He cuts it back. Uses his wheel. Such a stud. Touchdown, Jackrabbits. Rut row. Down five, but we got a shot here to regain the lead. Just trust JT. He gets hit, but he throws a beautiful pass to an open <laughs> down. He pets it. Let's go. The defense thankfully stepped up big time. We're in a great spot here. JT keeps it again, and he cuts it back. Man, he's deceivingly fast and shifty. That's our Heisman, baby. Coach Diamond gets to hoist up his Division I FBS national title. Such a happy day. We only had two above 500 seasons. That national title season and I really don't know what happened or how it happened. We live in a strange world. Can FCS schools survive in the SEC? If you want to find that, click the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.